So here's the thing, folks. I've been to a lot of systems, out of Cybar by way of Aterica, and everywhere in between. Beer, Jim. You can't get anything with hops outside 50 light years from here. I'm part of the first diaspora, and probably one of the few so far to have made it out of the home systems on both the Conclave and the Federated Stars. And I passed through the Strath Stars on my way between as well. Funny thing about them is they all have the same kind of concept in their stories as we do. A death world. You know what I'm talking about. Horrific living conditions. Completely adverse to sustaining a viable proportion of sentient life forms and generally a mess of nasty bastards for flora, fauna, and other as well. Worst I ever saw was some carnivorous hills in a dark system out near the edge of the Conclave. You couldn't live there properly because the hills shifted in the night and the landslides were unbelievable. I've seen some awful places since I first commenced to roam, but never yet such awful land I've seen. Huh. It's an old joke. You wouldn't get it. Regardless, one of my more sober realizations was that all three of the great star spaces define terror as a death world, and in all of the top third of inhospitable worlds. The real education is seeing Straff, Federation and Conclave Reavers all agreeing that they wouldn't set foot on a Terran hub station, let alone go dirt side. The stories they tell, mate. If I didn't pass here before I left, I'd be scared to come here too. See, Terra is a bit different from most other classifications of a death world. I mean, let's be honest. Our climate is pretty generally a temperate zone, with some extremes that even pre-industrial civilizations were able to exist in. We are plenty adaptable as a species, and most anyone can engineer their way to terraforming a world now anyway. No. They classify Terra as a death world because of the unnatural competition for survival. It's all based on life expectancy and trauma. The amount of sapiens that make it from conception through to adulthood without significant trauma, as per the acceptable interstar standards. I've got to say folks, we don't make it look crash hot. Between the exploitation of the lower stratum workers and our synthetics, the periodic brush wars between the blocks and the absolute mess the megacorps are made of the health system, well, you probably get what I mean. The recent shooting match on the subcontinent where the Bantu state started using hypnol penetrators on Sinocorp station sure as hell doesn't help our average either. <laughs> Shut it, Eskar. You know damn well that if it can feel, it's a sapient. I don't give a damn if you like one or not, sims are people. Leads me to my next point, anyway. The biggest waiting, though, for ascribing this place as a death world is our trauma rating. You don't even realise it, you just think it's a standard. But really, we've got some intense brutality amongst kids, the increasing competition for schooling rights, and most of our power blocks have adopted some form of compulsory service to keep up with each other. Hell, the suicide rates among Servis, Ambrose Sims, Belt Miners, and of course Forces, leaves the damn quadrant, let alone the sector. And of the ten most dangerous careers in the quadrant, we've got eight of them. Yeah, you think I'm joking? Read some books, mate. Even some from two centuries ago. As recent as the 23rd, they thought space travel would solve things, increase living standards, reduce resource competition, give us a place amongst the stars, and a civilization that cared. Ha! <laughs> I've seen the galaxy, mate, and even the Straff look after their kids better. And they still have jewels to determine their damn mating rights. The only thing I've learned in my travels is that however far you go, you take it with you. It's why Terra is a death world. Why Cybar will be a death world, and when we terraform the next one, it will be classified a death world too. Once we stop fighting the planet, see, then all that's left to fight is each other, and we thrive on that fight. Endurance predators? Sure. But our endurance is the ability to live in a soul-crushing environment for decades, just on the hope it'll get better. We can't escape our death worlds. See, we define them. <laughs>